Hi, this is Ming Chu, the injury guru. I'm a soft tissue physical therapist here in New York City, and today I want to talk about hydration. There's a lot of opinions out there about how much should a patient or a person who works out, how much should this person drink in terms of how much water should they drink per day? Um, it is my opinion that you should not drink just to taste, because if you're really, really, really dehydrated and you're used to only having very little, a little bit doesn't mean that it's optimal. So I've discovered that uh, as a general rule, uh, people that are less than 200 pounds should drink about two liters of water a day. And if you're greater than 200 pounds like myself and you work out, you should at least have two liters of water a day. For example, when I on days that I work out, I know that I have over three liters of water per day. But I'm a, I go a little fancier than just drinking plain old water because I actually add hydrogen gas into my water. I have a special machine. It's not too terribly expensive where you actually hydrogenate or add hydrogen gas into the water. And uh, recently, uh, hydrogen water has been all the rage and I do believe in it. It, it has been proven to increase the amount of ATP uh, in biochemical reactions in your body so your body can get more energy out of all of the calories that you ingest as, as opposed to letting it just uh, lay dormant as, as fat cells, it can be utilized as energy. So it can extract ATP from the foods that you eat. So hydrogenating or putting hydrogen into your water is, a, I believe, a potentially very good thing for your health. It does other things as well, like it's anti-inflammatory, there's hosts of benefits of drinking hydrogen water. The other thing I do is I also put a little bit of trace minerals, colloidal trace minerals, which I talked about in one of my other posts. And the reason why I use trace minerals in my water is because when you sweat, you don't sweat out water. You sweat out a soup of things. And the soup includes sodium, potassium, trace minerals, a whole bunch of other things. Ammonia leaves your body when you're sweating. So you have to replace these things, and by just replacing uh, your sweating with just pure water is just not appropriate. For example, uh, there are a lot of commercial brands out there. Uh, you know the companies uh, that sell all these drinks that they have in the pro ball teams. It only has sugar and a tiny bit of salt, which is sodium chloride, and a little bit of potassium, which is really, it's just not enough because you're losing all these trace minerals and you're not replacing them, and there's a lot of problems medically, health-wise, that can be brought about as a result of having trace mineral deficiencies. Uh, those are well-known facts. So I believe in adding a little bit of trace minerals in addition to the hydrogen gas into the water before I drink it. I drink my water usually mainly in the mornings. I try to drink at least three or four cups of water even before I have my breakfast. So I get all my water in and then I wait about 15, 20 minutes before I have a meal because I want the water to go into the tissue. And uh, it is believed by certain practitioners, particularly in Europe, uh, that when you drink water on an empty stomach, it goes into what we call the extracellular space, which is in the, which is in the connective tissue. Uh, it doesn't get digested as if it were food. It goes into the connective tissue, is, which is what I'm interested in, and because it helps you uh, have less joint pain, you just feel more hydrated, you'll be less prone to injuries, and you'll just feel better. So those are my uh, pieces of advice to you uh, to uh, drink water. And remember, the human body is about 70 to 80% water. So if you're dehydrated and you've been dehydrated for a long time, you wouldn't even know it. Uh, so drinking water is essential, particularly if you add trace minerals and add hydrogen gas to the water. It makes the water, well, a souped up gas, gassed up water that can really improve your health. So um, again, uh, this information that I have on this video is not intended uh, to substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, or treatments. It's just some information that I'd like to share with you. Uh, you know, uh, give it a try. Try the hydration the way I told you. Uh, try the hydrogen gas and the trace minerals. And I'm pretty sure your athletic performance and your daily health will improve by leaps and bounds. This is Ming Chu, the injury guru. Get hydrated. Let me know how it feels. Good luck.